<clears throat> Good morning. Um, he read that exactly uh, how I wrote that, so thank you, Coach, for uh, <laughs> that means a lot. Uh, it's great to be back here at Taylor. Um, I'm incredibly honored and grateful to be up here today. Um, to my fellow inductees, Courtney, um, Mary, and Steve, congratulations to each one of you. Um, it's an honor to be inducted with you guys. Um, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Committee, um, along with Coach Gould, Natalie Young, and the entire athletic department uh, for making this day happen. This is an incredible honor for uh, my family and I, and I'm forever grateful um, to be a member of the Taylor Athletic Hall of Fame. The last time I stood in front of a crowd to give a speech um, on this campus was in 2012 for my senior speech. At the conclusion of our baseball season just prior to graduation, I cried throughout it, not wanting my time at Taylor to be over with. I remember afterwards someone pulled me aside and asked why I got so emotional. This place means more to me than most will ever know. I replied, I may get emotional today, but after all these years away from Taylor, now having a family of my own, raising two beautiful kids with my wife, Laura, this place means even more to me today as I get to reflect on this special journey God took me on. I never took a visit to Taylor. I never met with Coach in his office or even had the opportunity to check out anything on campus. I committed to Coach Gould and Taylor while playing summer baseball in upstate New York after finishing my freshman year of baseball at Central Michigan. I had followed all the success Taylor had had in the season prior, following former high school teammates win a conference title, leading Taylor on a postseason run, and I knew I wanted to be a part of this championship program. Coach Gould never promised me anything, but he did guarantee me one thing. If you come in and compete with the roster that we currently have assembled, we're going to do great things. Coach Gould and the players before me had begun building a championship culture, and the expectation was to win in all four areas of our lives, athletically, academically, socially, and spiritually, during our time on campus. Over the next three years, my teammates and I did just that. When I arrived on campus, there was a different buzz with the baseball team. A championship culture was taking shape, and winning had become the expectation. To be a part of three 35-plus winning seasons, it takes a special roster of guys to buy in and play for each other, and we had just that. I was fortunate to be surrounded by a group of teammates that welcomed me and allowed me to fit right in. We won 24 straight games in 2011, one game shy of going undefeated in conference play and finishing the regular season with 27 straight wins. We've moved on from that though, right, Coach? We won three conference titles, made two NAI national tournament runs, and only lost 11 conference games in that three-year span. I got to share the field with a couple fellow Hall of Famers who are both here today, a couple of eventual draft picks, and many current teachers, business leaders, and coaches who I still get to stay in touch with. As much success as we had on the field, the culture was solidified off the field as we bonded as brothers in Christ we traveled to the Bahamas and South Florida on a mission trips to serve the homeless. We led community projects to build up the area and guided baseball camps for the less fortunate kids who aspired to one day play in the big leagues. We prayed together, we shared our testimonies together, and we looked for opportunities to glorify Christ in all that we did. I am forever grateful to be able to put on the Taylor jersey with you all and made a lifetime full of memories that I will take on with me for years to come. To Coach Gould, thank you for believing in me and giving me an opportunity to play here. Thank you for all the time spent pouring into my life and my teammates' lives, molding us and preparing us for a life after baseball. Thank you for bringing me back to campus after I graduated to be on your coaching staff, including me on mission trips and giving and continuing to have an impact on my life to this day. I was fortunate to have such impactful coaches to play for in my career, not only strong baseball minds, but also godly men of high character with a passion for developing and discipling. Coach Ryan Zeeb, Coach Matt Kinzer, Coach Matt Maple, Coach Larry Winterholder, Adam Sparks, Casey Hackman. You all were important parts of my time here and impacted me both on and off the field. To my high school coach, Coach Kelby Waybright, who believed in me as a freshman, he started me as a catcher to play in two state titles, winning one with a perfect 35-0 record. Thank you for your guidance and your leadership all these years. To my youth coach, Tim Otis, who is here today, thank you for instilling a bulldog mentality in me at a young age. 
never settling for average and pushing a bunch of 12-year-olds to become eventual state champions in high school. One of the best coaches I ever had could not be here today. <laughs> and we talked about this day. There's no coach I enjoy talking with more about baseball and life than Coach Rick Atkinson. From our weekly phone calls to sharing a coach's room on baseball road trips to our meals shared at Cracker Barrel, the man never stopped sharing his faith, his wisdom, and his baseball knowledge. Our discussion always started with Taylor, baseball and transition to his family or mine and he would finish with a life lesson. Over the last 12 years, Coach helped me become a better baseball player, become a better coach, but m most importantly, all the way up until the end, he helped me become a better man. His wife, Sandra, and the family are here. Thank you. It means a lot that you guys are here today. Finally, to my family, to both sets of my grandparents, who cannot be here today, but never missed a game traveling all over the Midwest to watch myself or one of my cousins compete. Thank you. To my extended family that was able to make it today, thank you for being in attendance and for all your support over, over the years. To my beautiful wife, Laura, you're the strongest person I know, which I know is required when you have to deal with me. You are thoughtful, caring, and a wonderful, loving mother to our two kids. Tate and Remy, there has been nothing more fulfilling in my life than raising you two with your mother. You two have bright futures, and I am proud to be your dad. I love you three more than you ever will know. Mom and Dad, the love for this game and the success I had playing it starts and ends with you two. I'm on this stage today as a result of the countless hours you two poured into me, shaping me and educating me through sports and competition. Without any brothers or sisters, one of you two was always there when I needed someone to rebound, someone to tackle, or someone to play catch with. We practiced and bonded as a family on the baseball diamond. I got better as a player. Dad would hit the fungo or throw BP. Mom would play first base or shag in the outfield. It was more than just practice to me, though. It was the lessons that each one of you taught me. Mom, you taught me that anything is possible if you are willing to outwork anyone else. You taught me toughness, how to compete when things got difficult or went against me. You instilled a competitive drive that pushed me when I wanted to quit. When I was 10 years old, I was hitting the helmet with a fastball, and like most 10-year-olds, I crumbled to the ground in agony. Laying there dramatically and rolling to cause a stir, I heard a familiar voice come screaming down from the stands. Oh, get up, Rhett. You're fine. <laughs> Your tough love never wavered, and I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Dad, at a young age, I fell in love with the game, playing catch and hitting with you in the backyard. You taught me how to be a leader through the game of baseball, not by being the loudest, but leading by my actions, behind the plate, remaining humble through success and positive, through the failure, always focusing on the next pitch. You have always been there for advice and have paved the way for me to have success on and off the field. Whether you were in the dugout with me or down one of the lines, you were always right there playing every game with me. My career started and finished with you. It began in the backyard playing catch and finished in the cages out beyond left field here in the barn with one final round of BP. Before I took the jersey off one final time, about two hours after we lost our final game of my senior year, one final line drive to the back of the cage ended it all. You're forever my hero, Dad. I love you guys so much and thank you for making me who I am today. Thank you.